Okay, I just wanted to ask for um yep. going live. The reason. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, right. we should be back now. We're gonna be starting the construction tools beta here shortly. We just finished with episode nine of the hardcore map. I didn't want to uh, leave everyone hanging too long because I know we had a fair amount of people there. But yeah, we are waiting for the uh, for Steam to finish patching this. So doing well. I'm tired, but doing well. For since my Colorado trip, my hours have shifted back to something slightly more normal. So. It's like, oh, it's sleep it's, schedule. It's what the late. Is normal? Let's ask ourselves this philosophical question. All right, and it doesn't matter. I can I can post whatever uh, as my password right now, and everyone can see it. So I'm gonna make my password heist, all lowercase, because nobody else can join, except for people that have the uh, the dev branch. He said tauntingly at the wind. All right, well. <laughs> I want to bet. <laughs> you are not prepared. Mentally, yes. you, you have to do the audio thing if, before you use that clip. Nah. Sorry. I just have too much background noise in the house, otherwise I'd just leave it off permanently. Well, I guess, what do people want to see out of the uh, the new splines? What specifically did, does anyone want to see? Loop de loop. Well, well, far, pharma <laughs> will make stupid crap. I'm sure that's a guarantee. But if there's anything specific that people actually want to see, is uh, how it works. We're revealing I'm about to join. Indeed, the flowers do look very nice. I'm not sure what, why, and when Q may had a chance to make the the foliage look nicer on the map, but he did. So it looks nice. How fast can you build from the depot to the logging camp? Probably pretty quick. In one spot, let's kind of speed as passes, run. You can, you know, run the distance. Dead speed. Yeah, Lordy, I wonder. Yeah. Is it? It would. Can you do one spline to there? Probably not. They're only five hundred meters. But. It should be doable in two. Yeah, two splines probably. I guess I could try it. I've got a, I've got a switch right here, so let's go for it. Three foot rail. We'll, we'll grab the deep one just for fun. Turn off circle mode kind of vaguely aim it this way and we're running yeah logging camps pretty much that way so we'll do one of these and I'll just uh, run over there and see what happens oh there's lots of pretty red flowers still still working still working still working is that the end of the, the spline oh, okay so I run out of distance right here boo hiss Although it won't let me place it, and I have a strong feeling it's because I'm clipping through the ground somewhere back there. Well, you did go, like, straight over the hill. You're supposed to go around it. Well, you know. Because that's where it's flat. Fine, then we'll go around the hill. We will bring it around town. Bring it around town. And by around, we mean just straight over, right? Something like that. It's, it's probably because it's clipping out of the ground actually. Oh, hey, there we go. Small hill. All right. So there's one one giant one giant spline for me. Oh, it was clipping through the freight depot is part of the problem. That's fine. Bet Betsy won't care. There's that. One small spline for man. One giant spline for John Railroadson. Okay, link that. We're not using circle mode because reasons. Logging camp. Oh yeah, that 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 put us in a very silly location here. We want to get straight to the logging camp. We're gonna have to use like maybe three splines now. Actually, this is kind of this is kind of stupid. Suboptimal. So it goes. It goes the... Oh, did you delete your spline? I didn't delete your spline. Oh, I think you did. No, you moved beyond the red in the distance of the spline. I was Welcome standing on it. Problems. I was standing on it and fell as soon as it disappeared. Oh, oh. that's that's a that's a new bug then. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, I'm leaving the render distance of the spline. It's so long. 
that it stops rendering well by the time I get to the end of it. Well, we've already cool. reported that bug to QMA. Neat. This is uh, yeah, so a bit of a roller coaster here. Beta, yeah, so this is a this very is beta, testing. very beta for testing moment. And, and everyone gets to help test, and and we'll take bug reports. Yeah, I need to make you <laughs> yeah, need to make that Discord channel. That, like put new Betsy's on the track here. Speaking of bug reports, at some point we'll have a forum. It's just I've been out sick, so I haven't made one. Talking about nine Coronas. Oh, shush you. Okay. I'm clipping through something that it doesn't like, or it doesn't like me trying to build this roller coaster this way, so we'll go over this way with it. So, yeah. Uh, heist, your, your track just disappears. Well, that that's a, that's a neat feature. Yeah, if I if I go past this tree here, yeah, the track just de-renders de the... Uh, the culling is a bit aggressive. There we go. This <laughs> is this is this is a fine roller coaster thing. Okay, so it's ending up being much more than two splines just because ground does things. Ground does things. Inspiring words. I know. Am I aimed vaguely? No, I've 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 got to go around all of these mountains apparently. Because I don't want to make any uh, smart attempts at doing this. Yes! That, yes. Alright. Can we lay this somewhat intelligently over here? Maybe. I'm curious what would happen if we ever ended up doing something with Khan again and... I just pull up the soundboard. Like, what do you think he would think of that? Like, he might think he might think you're like a, a murder hobo stalker, which is kind of <laughs> what I thought briefly, but that's fine. <laughs> I will say it was Chat's idea. Sorry, well, Chat, well, Chat's that. definitely a murder hobo stalker. Chat that's is confirmed. Chat is definitely a murder hobo. <laughs> yeah. So the um. The, in, the, saw, the sawmill does not have its platforms lined to the, the default angle snapping. Yeah, I could have smelled that coming. You have to go to 300 degrees. Well, it's a nice big red there. So when you're on a super long spline and it de-renders because you're really far away from the origin of it, Betsy's just flying... <laughs> All right, so somebody, uh, somebody, uh, time that. How long was that? It was less than eight minutes to build to the uh, the logging camp. Although that was with dev run speed, and the, I would never use this alignment for any real reasons. But Pharma, um, didn't Q say something about being able to rotate the grid? Yeah. Can you do that or no? Yeah. Did you try rotating it to align the thing correctly? Yes, but the default oh, rotation is in increments of 10 degrees. You have to specifically tell it to go in increments of 1 degree to align it. Hmm. Indeed, yeah. How much of a car guy am I? You remember me talking about my GTO? I mean, I'm enough of a car guy to have a GTO and have rebuilt the front suspension by myself, so I'm not the biggest of car guys, but I'm more of a car guy than most, I suppose. And can you, uh, can we set the grade for the track? Yes, you can in the circle mode only, but in the freehand placement that I was just doing, which is, let's be real, what I'm used to doing, you can't set the grade right now, which I think is a mistake. So we've passed that feedback onto QMA, but we'll see. We'll see what comes from that. Is any of that groundwork loading? Uh, I don't think so. Because I don't no, think he, he doesn't allow for floating anymore, which is why I was using the super deep groundwork. We're doing a big fill here. Yeah, it just looks like bits of it might have been floating. Oh, no. I oh, fell. God, Be Betsy's coming. <laughs> Betsy's flying through the forest for me. You guys are somewhere, but I cannot see a single spline and do not know where that is. We're on the ridge between the valley and the logging camp. And, yeah. 
<laughs> trees? We don't care about trees. Oh, ah! my, my player model cares care about, about trees. trees. <laughs> we care about Betsy trees. Doesn't Betsy care. doesn't care about trees. Oh my goodness, I just got uh, teleported back to the beginning of this spline. For some reason. Huh. Yep, just keep going forward. <clears throat> yep. Forwards. You guys ready for this? <laughs> Dunk. Yeah. Man, I Betsy's... wanna set up the other thing. There's there's no intention for Betsy to be derailable in this version. Yeah, so you in just kinda you... you kinda get five feet from end of track and you just go Ugh! Yeah, you also can't re-rail uh this Betsy. And it's just the Betsy, there's no cars for it in the beta right, version. Show them. Right show them the thing. Oh. The glorious thing. Yeah, so Pharma wants everyone to know that this is a possibility in the current version of the beta. <laughs> it, it's an innovative railroad solution designing to improve terminal dwell by allowing trains to reverse without needing a Y or a turntable. Railroad Tycoon 3 has copyrighted this, but here we go. Here we go. Yep. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm not actually sure if that can be deleted or not without deleting also the other spline. Beta goes live today when QMA makes it go live. We have no idea when. I really Sometime do love the little the flowers. Next... Sometime it's in the next pretty. 36 hours. I wouldn't say 36. Yeah, I would say sometime money. probably in the next 16. More likely sometime in the next 8. If I if I were a guessing man. Depends on how much crap he wants to fix. Well, look. It, if I say in the next 36, then I'm definitely not wrong, right? Well, you know. Because then by then it's Friday all over the world. And it's like Friday's over. Carl. Coral. Coral. Carl. I need to cut some of the sounds that I took when I was out at the museum. I got a bunch of good sound recordings. That's awesome. I'm I've really got, excited to see those. I've got better. Videos? I've got better chuffs. I've from twenty. I've got some good rail sounds and wheel and bearing sounds. So. Should help Were make things feel a bit more. Oh. Uh, somebody else was. Somebody else is. Yeah, I'm on the front. Did the hitboxes get updated finally? Well, he had to re-implement everything, so it's not like they had hitboxes he could use. Fair. Which is why we just have Betsy. I like this development. Yeah, so it should, you know, knock on wood mean that we get some more better hitboxes for all the choo-choos. Oh god, this this is the bit of the cursed. <laughs> oh no, we haven't this started is... building the cursed yet. Yeah, this isn't that cursed. This is this is just roller coaster hill right here. Okay, uh, guys. There are K thirty seven chuff these are actually K thirty seven chuffs if we slow it down as soon as we get through the the oh god turn. Ah! Let me, let me bring her back down to track speed here. Yep, I cannot see the spine we are currently on. Oh yeah, Betsy's just floating for clients. <laughs> oh, that's fun. There's no track here. There's actually normally not any track. Are we the... are we like sunk into the groundwork on your stream? No. Are you guys? No, yeah, you guys are standing on stuff. Is because. When, on our end, we're standing, uh, our feet are down on green grass. <laughs> I'm showing yeah, the folks the, the new, the new, new chuffs. But maybe don't build long splines just yet. These, these are formant shifted K37 chuffs for now. So they're not pitch shifted, they're formant shifted, which is neat. Make it sound more like a porter instead of 491. So I need to pick the spot to start building. 
Because anyway. the spots I can choose to link into are limited as a client. HO Modeler 4501. Yes, I've been to the Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum. I was there back in uh, November, actually. Right after Steam season, of course. I just missed it. Will there be a double track tool? Yeah, QMA thinks double track tool will be possible. And we were anticipating it for pre-spline update, so... Hopefully so, but right now, no, there's not anything specific, so... Formant shifted, F-O-R-M-A-N-T. It's kind of a weird way to pitch shift that doesn't change the, uh... Doesn't change the audio in the same way, for more or less of a bad explanation. Yes, there will be more locomotives added to the game, William. Not for a while, but there will be. Have I seen the JNL and Gauge channel? I'm aware of the JNL and Gauge. I didn't know they had a YouTube, though. <laughs> oh, Lordy, what's going on up here? That's, that's, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I figured this was what a uh, stream would like to see next. Yeah, pharma, pharma breaking things. Everyone likes to see pharma breaking things. Pile trust, pile trust so good. Right, this would look awesome. Loop de loop. Yeah, we wanna we wanna see Pharma's shenanigans. Yep, I just need something solid right there. I wanna run Betsy up and over this again. Maybe we can show off all the bridge styles. One second. Yerk. Oh lordy, that's quite the uh, quite the turn. Oh, I can't back Betsy up. Tell me that you can click into that. Uh, I do have a link going, but it's giving me a bunch of invalid thing placement because it's passing over the uh, deck of oh. the side of the thing. So if you could build a groundwork from the base of that out to uh, well, this groundwork, then I should be able to build on that. There we go. And now we'll, we'll fix Betsy's problem. Oh, oh. Yeah, there you go. It's, it's fine. Anyways, let's look at that bridge. But yeah, it's loop-de-loops. We, we got the loop-de-loops gang. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Until derail sort of thing. I'm not sure what you mean. This truck looks perfectly fine for trains. Uh-huh. Okay, let's rotate this in a way that makes some amount of sense. We'll turn on circle mode so that it stays the way it should be. Oh, I've got to clip it into another bit of groundwork, don't I? I can't just lay the bridge down? You can. You, you can just have to do it with, like, five mode. Five so you altered your thing, the um, circle mode. I had uh, circle mode on. It might be attempting to pass over something that makes it invalid, such oh, as such as the, such as the spawn track. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. There's your default tress wood trestle that we have. It's been retextured. Looks quite nice now. It doesn't look all weird like it used to. Which is fun. Here's the uh, the new one. 
Oh, you, you, in my attempt to place them, Tristan has placed everything else. Well, that's good. I'm glad somebody knows how to do this. It's bridge. I do bridge. That's right. In tunnel. What what flavor? So this is uh, fire red, yeah. And yep. then DRGW. Yep, with the white handrails. And then this is creosote. creosote, which is a vibe. Orange. Old. And, this is old and then new Leather. is over here or no that's dear mm -hmm. again this is new we're standing on new yeah yeah so they, Lots of they're cool things. super pretty and then the last of course is the steel bridge which is uh glitchy as hell right now so <laughs> he speak the true true but it's okay we'll figure it out yeah, it's just a little bit glitchy you know, like not not a huge deal, just just a teensy bit of glitch. Is the walkway always on the left? I guess it depends on which way you lay the bridge, which direction you lay it. But yeah, the it's it's always on the one side. So you have to it's always on the left side as you lay it, I suppose. But anyways, well, Pharma builds cursed stuff. Let's try and build a useful thing. Yeah, so yeah, this nice is correct. You can get the walkway on the uh, other side of the bridge just by laying it the other way. So you can get double track full bridge. Let me let me do that. We have a different player model in progress. Just saying. Hey, don't delete those. I can't place on things if the it had a thing linked to it that has been deleted. Oh. I didn't realize you were building off of this end. I thought that was just some crap someone put down. No, I had to respawn because I got stuck in groundwork and the game didn't oh, tell you. Well, there's... Yeah, that's a that's a fun... Is that better? Can you link off those? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll let you do that. I'll go play over here. We grab. That's interesting. No, I, I'm sure it is intended that the switches uh, connect in that direction. Yes. I'm on grid 100 right now, and on the angle that we are, it's kind of awkward. So we'll go to grid 50. That looks about right. Oh. But it's trying to lay over the top of itself. So we gotta go further back. And then we'll go to grid 10 so that when we rotate it, we can just go bang all the way around. Ah, uh, you used a switch that has the broken switch stand. Is that the one I used? About there? This is a giant diamond crossover that we're building, apparently. <clears throat> It is hard to get a sense of spacing. I think it would be easier with the uh, the original crossover piece that we have. Well, it's just something we're getting used to. That may may also Dad be the case. Dad wants to know why diesels use water instead of antifreeze. Because it's cheaper. So that when you dump it all over the place, you don't have antifreeze everywhere, and you and you just put a hose in it. That's what I was going to speculate. Doesn't it get way hotter than boiling point, though? No. That's why the radiators are giant. Hmm. Oops, caught myself stuck. I'm not used to left-clicking insta-confirming whatever spline I've built, so I keep trapping myself in it.
So these aren't, this isn't the most perfect diamond crossover. Oh, lordy. It's really not when I do that. I link to the wrong track. But if you leave it like that, it's just a confusing diamond crossover. <laughs> Indeed. That is a possibility. Come on, let me link. The links are a little bit weird with the track preview still, and Kuma has gotten that feedback as well. Maybe funny though. If you had a diamond crossover, but all the crossover bits go to the wrong ones. That would be silly. So, I mean, shoot, that, that only took a little bit, and it looks pretty good. It's a, it's a bit of wide track spacing right here, but... Is it possible to turn snapping off entirely? No, but you also don't really need... Oh, lordy, what's going on? Well, just, we'll just let that happen. The snapping doesn't really matter to some extent because if you if you go to the one centimeter grid you can't even tell that it's a grid i mean and then you also have just alignment of whatever if if you want to freehand it without using the circle mode which it's pretty easy to deal with yeah you can just live in pong for a bit i mean do you half degrees and stuff or no no, just single degrees, but even then, I don't know if a half degree makes a difference for you either. I am sure Clown would argue that there is a difference. Well, probably. Well, Clown's just going to have to get used to using circle mode to get his very precise degrees. That's Porter Pong. Yeah, you can take it out any time by flipping the switch in the other end. Indeed. Anytime. What's uh what's going on here with the this with what? Uh this circle of track right here. I made a comment about it. Um apparently the game just decided to get the length of the track segment in there because these were too close together, it just did a free sixty. Huh. Well that's an interesting bug. So does it do a donut while it runs through it? Yeah, flip switch and watch. Maybe make it go slightly slower so we can actually see it. Oh, lordy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it did that pretty quick. Ooh, Tristan yeah. with, the, uh, with the pretty double track bridge. I've been waiting for these building tools for a long time. Yeah. yeah. I mean, at that speed, it's just like, it's a little bit of a jitter, but, you know. It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. That's pretty special. And we started streaming hey, about hey, two hours ago that there was a there was a break in the middle there, so Yeah, that's nice. If you come over here and stand where I'm at, you can get a pretty good look at Double Track Bridge, yeah. Double track bridge. I mean not that this would be super prototypical, but It'd be fun. Be fun. Yeah. yeah. And it should be able hey. to do curves and stuff too, because everything's, you know, like snappy to a grid and stuff. It's so like a the, slightly smaller, slightly wider version of the bridge we already have, and in wood. Yeah, and in wood, and made out of piles, so better, sorry, Mickley. And with walkways. Yeah, the walkways are you, are, are you nice. dissing on my arch bridge, Tristan? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, just a little. Aww. Just because just I Aww. drew the designs for this bridge, so I love it. It is. It's okay. I know it's your baby. It's pretty. All right, I'm going to try and lay a somewhat realistic looking track to the sawmill while you guys do things. I mean, that sounds good. If you do short uh, segments, then 
when the rest of us can see them too. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Tristan, do you want to see it do the donut slowly? Yeah, what's going on over here? Oh. Oh, so what the hell is this? It's Forever Pong. I, uh, I see that. Yeah, I'm just going to stop it slowly. I'm going to turn on circle mode and put a, a little bit of a curve in this guy. And, uh, you don't want to flip the switch anymore. Why is that game? Are you left and right clicking? Too close. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Switches are left and right click right now. They're not drag click for those of you watching. Oh, no. For the for chat. I know you know. For, uh... It was really concerning to me for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't never think to right click. Nice, s super big, smooth curve here. We could put a switch on it. I'm not sure why it's floating like that. Hang on. Tristan, come. It's about to do the donut. May boy. All right. Am I having issues linking to this bit now? No. Whatever. All right. So we're f done with wanting to curve for a bit. So we'll just bring it back up to <laughs> zero. It does there. a flippy bit. <laughs> yeah, it just does that. Okay. Cool. So I see QMA implemented his blind system. All right. So how's the start of building off over here? So let's just connect from here to there. I think the phone just murdered him. Phone murdered him? Did you guys not hear the ringtone? There was a ringtone and then Tristan just cut off. Oh, no, I didn't I hear he that. He was murdered. Oops. What do we think, chat? Oh, I'm already there and just not paying attention. No, I need to go left pretty far. I cannot link to here. Sadness. Do that. Yeah, circle mode makes this be super, super, super easy. So we just kind of run up here and see, all right, well, how how close do we get with what radius? And I'm snapping on increments of 10, so we could really push it close if we wanted to. Change it to increments of 1 on the grid, and we could just bring that rail as nice and tight as we can right there. I think your chat agrees with me that it was murder. It's, it's this what it's one looking of, like. One of them hey, suggested I did it. I'm making the track. Look, guys, we figured it out. Clown can keep his job. Clown's retired. He doesn't have a job. The three, uh, the three three-foot gauge straights are the height of the groundworks below him. You can see that this one's quite low. Then this one's m very medium, and then this one's very tall. And they all have end caps on them now, so that the fill looks a lot better. I'm curious if the end cap came from Wings' original proposal for groundwork end caps. I'm not sure. It took me a minute to kind of get used to the new system, but it's actually pretty... It's not quite as intuitive as the original system was, but I think it's a lot more powerful. I think with a couple of tweaks, it's going to be really, really freaking cool. Almost to the sawmill here. Like, as far as I can tell at least, it's a lot harder to lay garbage track. 
no, yeah, you, easy. you you can pretty easily lay garbage track, but compared to the old system, you, you're less in danger of accidentally laying garbage track. I mean, the way to lay garbage track is you click in, you turn off circle mode, and then you just drag to your heart's content, and then you've got garbage track just like that. But I mean, that's that's intentional, and it kind of has to be. It's kind of hard, yeah, yeah to to just make it whatever. So this here why uh, was not intentional. It just happened. And I'm glad I know what not to do now. Because I remember a while back, YouTube's like, hey, this guy's streaming railroads online. You should go watch him. And like, he was just connecting bits of track at odd angles willy nilly and hoping that Betsy would pop over the gaps. Well, it sounds, like, it was it sounds like the railroads move. Kind of wacky, yeah. But with this system, that would just immediately fix all the issues that this particular streamer was experiencing. Well, with how it connects to each other, etc. Where did my track go? There it is. So is it is the only way it lets you do a compound curve by the freehand place? No, you can, I mean you can do compound. You just have to set multiple, you know, multiple, multiple pieces. pieces. Yeah, I'll have approached right. this kind of like crap, but that's okay. And we turn off circle mode, and then we just hook this up to this. Oops, and then we don't get a link, and then we accidentally delete both of them, so that doesn't matter anyways. Did you click twice, or just... I'm not sure, honestly. I've been noticing some bulk deleting. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. Oh, I'm laying that the wrong way. That's alright do one of those and then we grab this guy just link it and then we could do one of these and then I'm stuck inside it cuz yeah move out the way kabunk there we are so it's not perfect but I mean that was a super quick Alignment, and here's Betsy already. A super quick alignment to the sawmill. Bunk. Oh, no quick turnaround. Oh, no, yeah. Karma, do you just overlay the one segment of spawn and it'll turn around consistently and then keep going on the old stuff? Pardon? So with the turnaround, you're just laying a spline on top of the other one, right? Yes, in circle mode. Okay. So when you turn around, will Betsy stop at the end of that second spline or will it continue on to the first bit of spline that you hook back into. Well, if you just circle the spline into itself, then it'll just continue back down the track it came, because your start point and end point of the spline you just place lead into the same spline. Okay. That's how I would have expected it to work. Like, if I get Heist over here to do this one, -tunk -tunk. so can show it on the stream. Sure. So, off the left end here, if you connect to here. Okay. With any track spline. Any track spline. Okay. And then I have circle mode on and just, like, connect it as short as you can. And you'll know you've done it right if it crosses over itself. Like, after you finish placing it. Do you need to, um... 
There set. won't be any visual cue you've got it. You'll just know you have it after you finish confirming the splint. Do you need to set a radius? Uh, not to my knowledge, no. Okay. Oh, yeah, you just... Just yeah, there's there's no confirmation that you that you've done it at all. You just click and then it happens. Yeah, this is bug hunting with Farmer Fina. We 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 found the bugs. We just try and click and then see what happens, and then and then you get a suddenly reversed Betsy. Fastest turnaround in the West. The, the, the turntables obsolete. Don't need them. Those are some vectors we've just completely cleared up. But yeah, this uh, this track looks so nice. I do agree with the comments that the ballast should probably go out a little bit wider than it does at the full height, but... Yeah, if we come over to um, where this looks into, we can show you that we actually did build garbage truck. Yeah, I'm and that it is still possible. I'm back at the... Fun uh, fact. Oh, Lord. The Discord has been finding more of the Carl triggers. Oh, good. They have, they have found two more tonight. I see Tristan just got, like, dumped inside the groundwork. That's that's nice. Where's the garbage track? Uh, it's a little more. Like, right here. Oh yeah, this is this is some good stuff right here. This 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 is the track lane we know and love. Yeah, so you definitely still can make some crap uh, crap track, but yeah, like if I was trying to not make this crap, I'd have just done it all as one spline instead of breaking it up into two splines. But because I broke it up into two splines, now it has like crappy joints and bends in it. Yeah. If you if you do stuff as one spline, it's usually pretty pretty smart about how it does it. But yeah, when you do multiples, it can get a little weird. Or, you know, big sweeping changes not using circle mode. I mean, that's just the track going too tight for it normally going anyway. Yeah. Hi, Betsy. Oh, she's finally made it. Yep. I'm going to get the Eureka in here for testing. I want to see what like kind of loops to fast engines can do. You know, also just like actually driving an engine fast. Right. We don't have estimates for when the full thing will be out. It just depends on how the uh, the construction tools beta goes, how people respond to it, how many bugs there are, all that fun stuff. So, it just depends. Not even just how many bugs there are, but how long it takes to fix them. Also that. Well, anyways, uh, I gotta and go to bed, too. I, a lot of people are saying they gotta go to bed on stream. I gotta go to bed. I've got work in the morning, and... I'm not used to staying up till 11.30 anymore since my Colorado trip. <laughs> I need so. to go vote. Go vote. Vote now on your phones. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the little preview, and uh, you'll be all ha you should have access to this sometime tomorrow. So, anyway. Cheers. I need a glass of meatloaf. I need a glass of meatloaf. I need a glass of meatloaf right I need, now. I need